Web design cost can range from a few hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. So why this huge price difference? So in this video, we will break down how much web design really cost, the factors that affect pricing and how you can cut cost without sacrificing quality. So whether you are a freelancer, small business or an agency owner, this will help you understand where your money goes and how you can make informed decision when building your business website. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV Visual Builder. If you want to deep dive into what we are going to cover in this video, we have a complete blog post that we will link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, make sure you head over to the video description and check out our blog post for full analysis and detailed comparisons. Now there are different ways to design a website and each approach comes with its own price tag. So first, let's break down the most common options that you will encounter. First, we have website builders. Then we have custom website development. Third, we have WordPress designs. And then we have freelancers and agencies. So first up, we have website builders like Wix, Squarespace or Webflow. These platforms let you build a website using pre-made templates and drag and drop tools with plans starting from as low as $25 per month. But be cautious, as your business grows, you may outgrow these builders and customization options can become limited. While these website builders are great for simple business websites, they can be costly once you add necessary tools or features. For example, business package can cost up to $500 annually. This approach involves hiring professionals to build your website from scratch. The price starts from $3,000 for a basic site but can easily exceed $50,000 or more for complex projects. Custom websites give you complete control over your design, features and functionality. But they require significant time and financial investments. Along with that, future updates and changes often come with additional cost. Now, WordPress is another popular choice, powering over 43% of websites globally. You can design a site with themes like Devi for as little as $200 for a basic business website or a blog. But if you are creating more complex sites, costs can range up to $7,000 depending upon some plugins and hosting and additional features that you might need. But here is the big advantage. WordPress allows you to scale as your business grows without any hefty rebuilding costs. So you can build a basic business website or a blog from as low as $200 and build a full-fledged e-commerce business site from $1,000 to $3,000. Now for those who want personalized service, hiring a freelancer or agency is another option. Freelancers typically charge between $2,000 to $15,000 for a custom website depending upon their expertise and the complexity of the project. Agencies with their larger teams and higher level of service can charge anywhere from $25,000 to $60,000 and more. So why exactly this such broad range in pricing? Let's take a closer look at the factors that influence the cost of web design. Now pricing can be very significantly due to factors like design complexity, customizations, the technology used and the level of support you need afterwards. While entry level designs can be cheap, premium services like custom development, advanced features and ongoing maintenance can push cost up. So the key factors that influence web design price includes the features you need, the platform you choose and whether you are hiring freelancer or a full-fledged agency. Custom features like e-commerce or booking systems will add up cost as will ongoing support and updates. Now let's break down what you should expect to get with your web design budget. Number 1. Mockups and Wireframing Now before we dive into the design, professionals create wireframes in mockups. These are the blueprints of your website, showing the basic layout, content placement and functionality. This step ensures that everyone is on the same page before we move ahead to the development phase. Number 2. Page Layouts and Templates Each page on your site needs a layout. This includes templates for product pages, contact forms, blogs and static pages. The more complex your site, the more unique templates are required, increasing its cost. Number 3. Design and Development Hours Now, design and development time can vary greatly. 
Most project takes anywhere from 30 to 80 hours depending on their complexity. This phase includes everything from creating graphics, icons, to develop responsive layouts, interactive features. Number 4. Content Management System A good CMS makes managing your website easier. WordPress is a popular choice because it's user-friendly and powerful, allowing you to update your site without coding knowledge. Number 5. Basic SEO Setup Some web design cost includes basic SEO setup like clean URLs, mobile-friendly design, adding meta descriptions and titles, and these basic SEO elements are very critical to give your site a solid foundation. Now, web design costs don't end once your site is live. There are ongoing costs you need to budget for, including domains, hosting, SSL certificate, and maintenance plans. Domain names typically cost $10 to $50 a year, depending upon the extension you are going for. More common domains like .com are cheaper, while niche-specific like .io or .ai can be more expensive. Then comes the web hosting. The web hosting ranges from anywhere from $30 per month for basic plans to $300 per month for business-grade hosting, which can go up to $3,000 annually for enterprise solutions. Next is SSL certificate. Now, SSL certificates are crucial for keeping your site secure and they can cost anywhere from free to $200 per year depending upon your requirements. And finally, maintenance plans helps keep your site updated and secure. A basic maintenance plan could start from $250 annually, but for larger sites, it can go up to $10 to $12,000 for comprehensive ongoing services. Now let's talk about how you can cut the cost without cutting corners. If you are looking to save money without sacrificing quality, Divi is a fantastic solution. Divi's AI features help you build website faster with intelligent design suggestions and content creation. Divi Quick Sites can generate a complete branded website within few minutes. With Divi Pro, your team gains access to essential tools, collaboration features, and premium support, all at a fraction of cost of hiring developers or agencies. Now choosing the right investment depends on the business need and here is a quick breakdown for that. Number 1. For simple business sites, you can expect to pay between $1000 to $5000 for a site with essential features. For more complex sites with advanced features, the cost can range from $5000 to $15,000. E-commerce stores are higher investment, typically starting at $15,000 and climbing with more features and customizations. Now, annual operation cost for a website can range from $2400 to $24,000 depending on the scale of your site and service you need. So web design doesn't have to break your bank. With tools like Divi, you can build and maintain professional websites without expensive agencies or maintenance contracts. To cut costs, not corners. Use Divi. So whether you are building a basic business website or a full-fledged e-commerce store, Divi allows you to create, manage and maintain your website from a fraction of cost. So stop overpaying for web design and take control of your website today. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and Divi updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.